be doing today. As usual, we're going to be doing something completely different. This is going to be a brand new series. For, uh, most of you don't know that back in uh, the 80s, my brother and I collected scratch and sniff stickers. I don't know if you remember these things. You scratch them and they have the nice smell to them. Well, he gave me his collection in 99, and that got me started thinking, hey, well, let's see if I can collect them all. So I started a website, sniffstickers.com, which is no longer in existence because it got too expensive to keep it up. But I was on a mission to collect everything complete sealed in packages and the whole shebang. I must have bought probably a couple thousand eBay auctions. I was like winning every auction for like 99 to like 2001. I was like, and then, then of course the World Trade Center happened, so I kind of slowed down and I kind of ran out the stuff to look for. So I decided, you know what, after all these years, let's uh, start a series and see if we can show you, teach you guys a little bit and gals about the history of scratch and sniffs and stuff. And so my favorite series was the Sniffy series. They came out in the, there was early 77, they went all the way up into the 80s where they reissued them and stuff. So I'm going to show you the history of them. By, uh, Creative Teaching Press started them and the first thing they came up with was called uh, reward labels. So basically what they did was they had 24 different scents and they're in little packages. They were basically the packages were about the size of this and they had a little little plastic header on top. I won an auction, almost won an auction of a sealed pack, but missed it. And the guy won it, opened it. I was like, why'd you do that? So anyway, there was 24 different, and they all have praise words on them. There are some known sheets of 12, but normally they were packed 12, like four, four two, two different scents per pack, and it was four stickers per sheet. And it was a total of 24 different sheets, but they might have made like a, maybe like a value pack, like if you see these mixed ones from the 80s. You'll see they say mixed package on them and stuff. So maybe uh, Trend did that. And Trend, that's the art company. That's the one that did stinky stickers. Maybe CTP decided to do that with uh, these. So in the order, uh, based on the, the numbering of the packages, we have good old strawberry, which actually smells really good. All these matte ones. Matte is like, oh, I'll show you what matte is. It's kind of a, it's a papery surface. It's not glossy. You'll see how there's no, doesn't reflect anything. These are the best. They smell really good. They maintain their scent. So for the first one, so it's 1977, there was a strawberry that said well done. And you got peach, which says well done. And you got root beer. I know there's a couple I'm missing. I know I'm missing a peach, which I didn't show you. And I'm missing grape. Yeah, this one was... Oh, no, I do have peach. I'm sorry. I know I'm missing a couple. I know I'm missing grape and like one other one. So this one was cherry, much better. And then you have good worker, that's lemonade. And you have pineapple, which says neat work. And I think almost all of these still smell really good. Raspberry, which is very good. And then you got banana, which is much better. That's a cool one. This is from a bookmark. We're not going to be doing any of the bookmarks or certificates. Those will, those will be a separate video. And this is like a half sheet. It's got like two, two of the original ones and then the... The ones that came out in 1980. So these are a uh, candy cane. They say good work. Those smell really good. And this is a hard one to find. Uh, gingerbread. For some reason, only found one of those. And then we got pizza. More common title. We see those often. So we can get that to stay focused there. And you got good old, good old licorice. This one smells really good. And chocolate. And let's see. We got good old... These these you still see packs of, not not this one, but the newer ones. You'll still see pickle a lot. They're actually the most common for the 80s. And we got bubble gum. This is a really nice one. It's just super. And we got the we got the last of the the original 18. Now I'll show you the last six, which are super hard to find. This one's lime, very cool. These are super rare. Got coconut. These very rarely show up for sale. And this one I always thought was the hardest one to come by. This is fruit punch. Which says, well done. And then we got good for candy apple. That one's quite scarce. And we got vanilla. Really hard to come by. And blueberry. Super duper rare to find a very good variant. And there was no scratch and sniff variant of those until they did the 81 series. And last but not least for the 77 reward label series, we got spearmint. It says good work. So that was the very first ones. Then in 78... They came up with these. You'll notice it says scratch and sniff, but it's really tiny. See how the font is really tiny? There's a bunch of these. These were in uh, like books. They made these special books which had games and stuff in them. 
I know because I have one of the books, but I didn't bring it with me. Then this one, nobody can figure out yet. This one has both. It not only has the scratch and sniff, it has the praise words. That's great, and it has this little period on all of them. Nobody knows where these came from. I'm thinking they might have been like a promo or something in 78, 79. Then, in 1980, they began to make these. Right before the 81 series. It's got sheet of 12, and they all say scratch and sniff. But identical to the 77 series, except that it says scratch and sniff. And that it comes in the sniffies and not a reward label pack. Let me show you those real quick. I believe i got a complete set here. we got the strawberry, peach... Grape. I believe these were probably part of a 12 sheet and somebody cut them up. Uh, got Pete. Uh, yeah, it's orange. That's another one I'm missing from the praise words. And root beer. And cherry. And this one I didn't have a lemonade. I only had the 78 one, which is in the book. And good old pineapple. Raspberry. And banana. Candy cane. Uh, good old gingerbread. Um, pizza, and we got good old licorice, and they only did uh, 18 of these, not, they didn't do the whole 24, and we got chocolate, um, pickle, bubble gum, and the last one from that was lime, they didn't do the last six with the word scratch and sniff, at least nobody's seen any yet, then we got these, I almost have, 1981, they decided to make, a var make it where there was three different, basically the same thing, Except they did three of them, and this is almost a complete run of every pack that was made in 1981. And these are all matte as well, so you can see we got the strawberry pack, that's very cool. Got a peach pack, and if you look on the back, it'll have your list of all your scents. And then we got the grape and orange, it's really cool. These are all these all smell very good because I have single ones of these as well. We got root beer and cherry. Got a nice pack of lemonade and pineapple and raspberry. A while back, probably 20 years ago, a bunch of these showed up online. They 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 became flooded. Now they're hard to find again. Got banana, candy cane. We got gingerbread. That's a really nice one. And we got good old pipe pizza, licorice. It's always a cool design. And we got good old chocolate. These are very strong as well. Pickle. I love the little, the little suntan lotion. And this one's the rarest of all the, of all the 24. For some reason, the bubblegum ones. I think this one only showed up like five or six times in 20-something years. And we got lime. My favorite, one of my favorite designs. And coconut. I remember finding a pack of these in 83 at a pharmacy. It was like, there was that one, there was this one, there was like two other packs. And we trade them in school. Uh, fruit punch, very nice design. And I got candy apple and vanilla, which is a really nice design. Good old blueberry. And this was my favorite one when I was collecting. That was my single favorite scratch and sniff in school, was that one. And then the spearmint ones. Then, during the same year, they decided to branch out and make a flower series. And all these are going to be by the CTP numbers. So they're all going to be in order by that number. So we got carnation, which is really cool. Again, these are all matte, and honeysuckle, very cool one, and lily of the valley, very cool, and orchid, and rose, that's a really nice one, and we got the violet, and with this a complete set of those, and they don't list on the back, some of them, you can't really, these are like first pressings, so you don't see there's like an advertisement, some of them, as you can see, so I was like, you could just see it in the background. There's like a little little printing on the back of the card, which has advertising. I would tell you of all the... These are probably the rarest of the regular Sniffies. I don't even have a complete set. There's supposed to be, I think, uh, 12 in the set of these. And I only got a couple. Uh, we got the donut. There's the ones I don't have are cola, watermelon, and, uh, and peanut. Mm -hmm. We got popcorn. Just what's left of the pack. It's not a full pack. But if you look here, you'll see the you'll see the advertising, the flower series, Snippy's gang, which we'll be seeing soon, and the mini maxis. And again, all these all these mini series are going to be matte. So they're going to have a really strong scent. 
And we got Honey. That's one of their, the rare new ones. And I call these the old design. We got Banana. Uh, we got Candy Apple. We got Cherry. That's really cool. And we got Chocolate. Look at that cute little bear there. That's funny. Nice cute designs here, man. These look at the little monkey. That's funny. Coconut. At least it looks like a monkey. And we got the hula hoop dancer for pineapple. Really cool. Then the last of the regular series before they went to the glossies. And they just started reissuing the heck out of everything. Pretty much every company did starting in 84. Trend, I think, was the first to do it. And we got the Sniffy's Gang series. There's only six of these in a set. We got bubblegum. Gingerbread. Uh, grape. Orange. Root beer. And strawberry. And you can see they're definitely a new one. See, I got the advertisements in the back. And the only thing I don't have, there's these three stickers. They're from the iPhone. I think they're from 76. They're kind of like prototype CTPs, but they match they match the, the style and design. Then, starting in 85, 84, 85, you can see they reissued everything on what is glossy. Looks the same as the other one, but if you look at it, you'll see it's got a glossy finish. And most of these don't hold their scent. Yeah, this one just smells like paper. Because the uh, micro-encapsulation that they use, technology, I think it doesn't stick too well to the to the glossy paper, that finish. So basically, you got, they reissued, here's the entire, this is the entire run of all the glossies, from strawberry all the way. Some still smell, which is amazing. Like, this one still has a scent. And you can see they changed the the order. You can see all the order got changed on the, the glossies. Um, don't have very few packs of these. Most of these are just sheets or partial or strips as we call them. It's another thing you're going to see in the in the hobby. You got what's called singles, which are one. And you got strips, which will be like a strip. And they got sheets or half sheets, which will be literally half of a sheet. And they have what's called full sheets. And they got matte and glossy, which of course this is glossy, the other ones are matte. And of course the easiest one to know is packs. You have open pack, full pack, and you have box, of course we all know, those are basic phrases. And an open box, of course, will be a whole box full of them. And we got that one. And but you can see the, the order of which they are is completely different than the 81 series. And the reason I know these are from 85, and it also did uh, the flowers too. I'll show you those real quick because, again, some of them, they mixed the orders up. Yeah, I think I'm missing two. Yep, missing two to finish that set. Never seen an unopened pack of those. I've seen all the other stuff, though, which I'll show you. Then you got these. These were the, the glossy ones, as you can see. They're in a standard. They don't even say Snippies anymore. They went back to the word reward labels, 77. And almost have the whole set. I think I'm missing three packs. So basically they're same as the other ones. And then they had these these money saver packs, which were basically a whole bunch of them, 288, four dozen of six different scents. Those are kind of cool. Basically they're glossy versions of the Snippies gang. And here's glossy mini maxis. And of course it would say right up there, mini maxis and Snippies gang. Then in 85, yeah, these are, I'm sorry, these are 80. 82, 82 to 84. 85, they decided to change the design. But every now and then you'll find a hybrid pack, which has a new design, an old design in it. And that's the pickle pack. And then they had these mixed ones, which is very cool. You got fruit punch there. And then you got spearmint. I'm going to show you those because I don't have singles of those. And these. Just in case you ever find stickers in your collection and wonder, oh, where are they from? These are all 85 CT paste. So you got strawberry, and a bunch of these I had to, were cut apart, so I had to tape them together. So we got peach, orange, so we can get that a little better there, so you can see the design. In case you're wondering if you ever see these, well, now you know what they are. We got root beer, and we got cherry, and we got only one lemon, so if anybody else has the other lemons, let me know. I'm still missing a couple cents of those. I think I need us. I think I know, yeah, one or two of them I don't have. So we got the pineapple, and usually the middle one will say the name of the scent. Raspberry, banana, that's cool. 
candy cane, gingerbread, pizza. Some of these, let me see, some of them still smell. I know usually your more pungent ones will still smell like pizza and candy cane. Yeah, still smells. Mm. An old trick I like to do, I like to rub it instead of scratching it so you don't you don't damage the artwork on it and it makes it last longer too. Licorice. See, I had to, I don't know if that's supposed to go that way or that way, but chocolate. This one luckily was a was a strip that wasn't cut apart. Bubble gum. Very neat design. Lime. And coconut. Candy apple. Vanilla. And blueberry. And let's see. Let me show you real quick. Uh, so I'll take care of the new design from 85. And then when they put them out in other countries, they did this. I believe these are from Sweden or England or something. Someone from uh, someone overseas sent me a pack of these, which is pretty cool. There, they contain matte stickers. It just says original CTP Snippies. There are, well, I think uh, these are British ones because I think uh, the Swedish ones or whatever or the Norwegian ones have a uh, says sticker or something on it. I haven't, I've had a pack of those, but I don't know where it went. Like I said, I got tons and tons of these. I got, like, in my, in my museum, I probably got, like, 400 packs different of stickers that I collected. So the last ones before we head out, I hope you enjoyed the little quick history of the different CTP stuff. These are going to be the glossy ones. Let me show you the ones that I didn't have in the sealed ones or the packs, which would have been melon, looks like that. That's the, what the cola one looks like, and that's pretty much what the peanut one looks like. This is a partial sheet, and you can see it's, it's glossy. It's not matte. Mm -hmm. I would love to get a hold of any of these unopened to finish my set. So I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time. And as usual, feel free to subscribe if you're new. Uh, toss a like if you enjoyed it, and hit the bell so you know we got more of this stuff coming up. Depending on what goodies you're into, whether it's sports cards, video games, comic books, toys, or good old scratch and sniffs. And toss a comment, let me know what your favorite series is, and hope we'll see you in uh, a, another episode. I think the next one I might do might be Trend, or or uh, maybe Mellow Smellows. But we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.